Probiotics have become a buzzword in the wellness industry, with everyone from doctors to your next door neighbor touting their numerous health benefits. Found in supplements and fermented foods like yogurt and kimchi, probiotics are beneficial bacteria that, when consumed in adequate amounts, provide health benefits to the host. They are known to aid digestion, enhance immunity, and even potentially protect against certain infections. Before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. But what happens when you introduce these beneficial bacteria into the system of someone with diabetes? Does it help or harm them? Diabetes, a group of diseases that results in too much sugar in the blood, affects millions worldwide. With an ever-increasing diabetic population, it's crucial to understand the interplay between probiotics and diabetes. Several studies suggest that probiotics may, in fact, offer multiple benefits for diabetics. A study published in the Journal of Dairy Science found that certain strains of probiotics can improve insulin sensitivity and even reduce inflammation in type 2 diabetics. Another piece of research, this time from the British Journal of Nutrition, revealed that probiotics might lower the levels of fasting blood sugar, making it easier for diabetics to maintain stable blood sugar levels. Furthermore, a systematic review and meta-analysis in the World Journal of Diabetes indicates that probiotic supplementation can decrease fasting glucose and insulin levels in patients with type 2 diabetes. These findings hint at a potentially beneficial relationship between probiotics and diabetes management. Diabetes often comes hand in hand with other issues like obesity, high blood pressure, and cholesterol problems. Excitingly, probiotics might also play a role in combating these. A study in the journal Obesity reviews how certain probiotic strains can positively affect weight loss and decrease fat mass in obese individuals. Another study in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that probiotics might help reduce blood pressure slightly, especially in those with elevated levels. Digestive issues are not uncommon among diabetics. Slow stomach emptying, gastroparesis, and other gastrointestinal problems can plague those with diabetes. Research from the journal Gut Pathogens discusses the role of gut microbiota in influencing various aspects of health. Probiotics, by balancing the gut flora, can aid in digestion, reduce inflammation, and potentially help mitigate digestive problems that diabetics often face. However, while the benefits sound promising, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. A few studies have raised eyebrows regarding the use of probiotics by diabetics. One concern revolves around the fact that probiotics can cause changes in the gut flora, and not always in predictable ways. A study in the journal Cell Host and Amp Microbe found that while some individuals' gut flora changed beneficially after probiotic use, others saw no change, and some even had their gut flora composition shift in potentially detrimental ways. Moreover, probiotics can lead to an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine, leading to bloating, gas, and other digestive issues. This could exacerbate the gastrointestinal problems that some diabetics already experience. One of the more alarming potential dangers of probiotics, especially for diabetics, is the risk of infections. People with diabetes have weakened immune systems, making them more susceptible to infections. While rare, there have been reports of probiotic strains causing infections, particularly in immunocompromised individuals. A study in the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases detailed how certain patients, including diabetics, developed bloodstream infections after consuming probiotics. Another report in the journal Infection discussed how a diabetic patient developed endocarditis, an infection of the inner lining of the heart chambers and valves, after taking probiotics. The most severe concern is lactic acidosis. Lactic acidosis is a medical condition characterized by the buildup of lactate in the body leading to acidity in the blood. It's a rare but serious side effect of some anti-diabetic medications, especially metformin. Some probiotic strains produce lactic acid. For the general population, this isn't typically a problem. However, for diabetics, especially those on medications like metformin, introducing more lactic acid into the system can be problematic. A study in the journal Critical Care raised concerns over the potential for probiotics to exacerbate the risk of lactic acidosis in susceptible individuals. The repercussions of lactic acidosis are severe. It can lead to muscle pain and breathing difficulties, and even be fatal if not treated promptly. Probiotics, which are live microorganisms that are believed to provide numerous health benefits when consumed, 
have gained immense popularity in recent years. However, there are several alternatives or complementary strategies that can promote a healthy gut and overall well-being. Here, we will explore five such alternatives to probiotics, each with a detailed explanation. Prebiotics are a type of dietary fiber found in certain foods that promote the growth and activity of beneficial gut bacteria. Unlike probiotics, which are live microorganisms, prebiotics are non-digestible substances that reach the colon mostly intact, where they serve as a source of nutrition for beneficial gut bacteria. Foods rich in prebiotics include garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, and bananas. Fermented foods are naturally rich in live bacteria and can have similar benefits to probiotics. Foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, and miso contain live beneficial microorganisms that can help maintain a healthy gut microbiome. These foods provide a source of probiotic-like bacteria that can enhance digestion and contribute to a balanced gut environment. Incorporating a variety of fermented foods into your diet can support gut health without the need for probiotic supplements. Fiber-rich foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables provide nourishment for the beneficial bacteria in your gut. When these bacteria ferment dietary fiber, they produce short-chain fatty acids, which play a key role in gut health. These fatty acids help regulate the immune system, reduce inflammation, and promote a balanced gut microbiome. Digestive enzymes are substances that help break down food into smaller, more easily digestible components. These enzymes are naturally produced by the body, but they can also be obtained from dietary sources or supplements. For individuals with digestive issues or enzyme deficiencies, incorporating digestive enzyme supplements can aid in the breakdown of nutrients and reduce gastrointestinal discomfort. Several herbs and herbal supplements have been associated with promoting gut health and addressing digestive concerns. For example, ginger is known for its ability to alleviate nausea and indigestion, while peppermint can soothe digestive discomfort. Turmeric possesses anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce gut inflammation. So, are probiotics a friend or foe for diabetics? The research paints a nuanced picture. On the one hand, probiotics offer numerous potential benefits, from improved blood sugar control to better digestive health. On the other, the risks, while rare, are significant. If you or a loved one has diabetes and is considering probiotics, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional. They can guide you on the right strains and dosages and monitor for any potential adverse reactions. Remember, while the allure of probiotics and their health claims can be tempting, it's essential to tread carefully, especially when chronic conditions like diabetes are in play. The key is personalized and informed decision-making.